I let us con continue our discussion on this uh, ideal gas in a quantum mechanical, microcanonical ensemble. Uh, we just revisit what we have seen in the last uh, classes. We consider a system of n non interacting distinguishable particles confined to a volume V having energy E. And what is omega? Omega is the number of distinct microstates accessible to the system under the macrostate and VE. So that is omega. Now uh, omega is written as sigma summation over different distribution sets of this WNI. So what is this uh, WNI? WNI is the number of distinct microstates associated with the distribution set NI. So distribution set is nothing but a set of numbers which represents the number of particles in the first cell, number of particles in the second cell, number of particles in the third cell and so on. So we can have different number of different uh, distribution sets satisfying the condition sigma i and i equal to n capital n the total number of particles in the system sigma i and i epsilon i the total energy of the system equal to e so a number of distribution sets are there and we sum over all these states and what is w of n i w n of and I is the number of distinct microstates associated with the distribution set N I. And W N I is pi i product of small w i, where w i is the number of distinct microstates associated with associated with the ith cell of the spectrum. Okay, a cell containing N I particles uh, distributed in G A levels in the ith cell. So we take the product. So you get the uh, number of distinct microstates associated with a particular distribution set. And we sum over all the possible distribution set satisfying these two equations. So this is what we have done so far. And we have found expressions for this WNI for three cases for the Bose Einstein case. For the Bose Einstein case, and for that we obtained uh, the equation, this expression. And for the Fermi Dirac case, we obtained this expression. And third, for the Maxwell Boltzmann case, we got this expression. So we have the expression for W, capital W, and I, the distribution set, for all the three possible statistics, the bose einstein statistics, the fermi dirac statistics and the maxwell boltzmann statistics. Now let's see what is the entropy of the system. Entropy is given by S equal to k log omega. It is the first equation that we studied in statistical mechanics connecting thermodynamics with the uh, the statistical mechanics. Okay, omega comes from the statistical physics. S is the entropy, a thermodynamic quantity. So that is equal to k log. And what is omega? Omega is sigma summation over the distribution set of the W and I, the, dis uh, the distribution set. Okay. So the logarithm, we are taking the log of this. So this will uh, have uh, several log terms corresponding to the different distribution sets possible for the system. See here, we are replacing this summation by a single term. Okay. So the right hand side is approximated by the logarithm of the largest term in the sum. So we are taking the largest term in the sum. Okay. So WNI will be different for a different distribution set. But 
for one set the WNI is a maximum or gives the greatest number. So we are writing it this uh, summation is replaced approximated by that single term only and uh, to indicate that distribution set we are using an asterisk symbol. So ni asterisk is the distribution set that maximizes the number wni. Okay, the numbers ni are the are clearly the most probable values of the distribution numbers ni. So the distribution numbers ni can take different values corresponding to different distribution set. But for one particular set, which is the most probable distribution, the number of microstates corresponding to that distribution set is you know very large actually huge compared to the distribution the number of microstates corresponding to all other distribution sets okay so this single one the number of microstates corresponding to this single one is very very large compared to the total number of microstates corresponding to all other distribution sets and this set is called the most probable distribution okay so uh, how do we find that uh, most probable distribution it is by maximizing this w and i if we have the expression for w and i we maximize it we maximize this and uh, by maximizing that we can find the most probable distribution set or the most probable distribution value and that. Now when we carry out the maximization we have to take into account the restrictions on the quantities n and d. We have the restriction sigma i n i summation over the different uh, n i equal to a capital N the dot number of particles in the system that is a constant. So if I take delta n i, the variation in n i, sigma i delta n i, that will be equal to zero. Same way we know the total energy is a constant. We are considering microcanonical ensemble. So sigma i n i epsilon i, summation over all the uh, cells of n i epsilon i is a constant. So if I, if you take the variation of it, we will get sigma i delta. This will become delta n i epsilon i equal to zero. So these are the two conditions with which okay we have to uh, maximize this w n i to find the most probable distribution set. So we are using a technique called Lagrange's undetermined multipliers. Okay, we are using Lagrange's undetermined multipliers. The condition for determining the most probable distribution set is now delta log W and I. We are, we are maximizing. Actually, what we want, uh, what we want is the maximization of W and I. But it will log W of n i maximization will give you the same result. Okay, so we are actually maximizing log W n i. So delta log W n i minus alpha sigma i delta n i plus beta sigma i epsilon i delta n i equal to zero. So this is the Lagrange's undetermined multiplier technique. If you want to maximize some quantity under some restrictions, the restriction, what are the restrictions? Delta n i zero and the restriction uh, delta sigma i delta n i epsilon i equal to zero. So under these restrictions, if you want to maximize the quantity, we write it in this form delta log w of n i minus alpha sigma i delta n i plus beta sigma i epsilon i delta n i and alpha and beta are the undetermined multipliers we don't know the values of alpha and beta 